Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is almost fall, which is my very favorite season of the year hands down. And I decided to come on today's video and give you a very easy transition into fall, smoky eye, super easy, minimal products. And I am collaborating once again with one of my very favorites, Beauty Pie, to show you a few of my favorite products from them and how you can use them to achieve this look. If you are not familiar with Beauty Pie, it is one of my favorite places, one-stop shops for all things beauty and it is a membership-based service. So you pay $59 a year and you get access to hundreds upon hundreds of products in every category of beauty. You've got makeup, you have skincare, you have hair care, you have fragrance, you have body care. It is all there. And it is at a very, 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 very affordable price with a very, very, very good quality because they don't use any kind of retailers. You can only get it from Beauty Pie. They don't have to mark up their products, sometimes up, upwards of 70% to be able to put it in a retail location. So I like to call it the Costco of the beauty world because you pay that once a year membership and you have access to everything you would ever need for very, very, very affordable prices. So if you are not already a member of Beauty Pie, I do have a code Mandy sent me that is gonna get you $10 off your first order. So I will have that linked down in the description box to check it out. You can spend hours discovering everything on their website. It is so amazing, everything they offer. But let's go ahead and jump in to this look and I'm gonna show you how I use some of my very favorite products to achieve it. All right, let's get started with these under eyes. I am almost finished with my Chantecai Camouflage Stilo Pen, but no worries because I have a backup. I've been loving this for like the past month for my corrector. So this is in the shade three. It has a nice peachy undertone, which is gonna help co you know cover up this darkness because heavens knows I got the darkness to cover up. And this brush is the Sephora number 47 brush. I always get asked about this and I always tend to forget to mention what it is. They have since redone the Sephora brushes. So I don't know if the newer one is just like this or not, but this is the one I have been using for a very long time now for my under eyes and I love it. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my very well-loved Great Skin Foundation from Beauty Pie. This is in the shade 300 Beige. I'm gonna be using my It Cosmetics number 115 brush. So this has something that they call micro pearls in it, which help give a natural matte finish. And I do agree with that. I feel like this is exactly that. It is definitely not luminous. It's not gonna add any more luminosity to my skin. But even if I'm having like a dry skin moment, I can use this. It is not drying on my skin, even though it gives that matte finish. The medium to full coverage, but I never feel like it's cakey. It's definitely not heavy. And I don't even need two whole pumps for my face and my neck. And it is also fragrance free and oil free. And to give an example of Beauty Pie prices, this, I mean, this could easily go for $30 to $40 to $50 if it were another brand or if it were in a retailer. But this is $16, y'all. There are a lot of drugstore foundations, like at Walgreens, that I can't get for $16 anymore. So see how much product I still have left in my hand? I pumped out two pumps. Did not need that at all. And like I said, it's not a flat mat or you wouldn't be able to see any of that reflection when I turn my face, but it's also not luminous at all. So I don't have to worry about getting too shiny throughout the day. And I also don't have to touch up with this, but it lasts all day long. Next, I'm gonna use the Everyday Great Skin Concealer from Beauty Pie. I love using these together. They're also great separately. I am using the shade 400 Buff. I'm just gonna put a few dots under each eye, and I'm having some serious dry under eyes lately, but I feel like this still blends out really nice on dry under eyes, maybe because it has shea butter, hyaluronic acid, but it's also more of a matte finish. So even though it has those hydrating ingredients, it doesn't 
look luminous on the under eyes at all. I have also used this as my foundation. I have the shade 500, I think it's sand, and I have used that as an all over foundation before, and it's worked great. I especially like to do that like when I travel is to take a concealer that I love under my eyes, but also all over, because if I can take one thing this small for my entire base, then I'm definitely saving a ton of room. But in my opinion, not all concealers are that great all over the face. This is one of them that is. So as it transitions into fall and a little bit cooler weather, I like to incorporate more cream products in my routine. I mean, I like cream products all year round, but I feel like my drier skin as we get into the colder months works better with cream products. So even though I'm gonna set the face, I'm still gonna use a cream blush. And this is from Merit, and this is the Cheek Color in Beverly Hills. So it looks like this, and that's its swatch. So it's just a really pretty rose color. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. A lot of times I see people putting this directly on the cheeks. I don't tend to like to do that. If you've watched any of my videos where I use cream products, I really like to go straight into the component with a brush. I feel like it blends out a little bit easier on my skin and I don't get too much product. Whereas if I just started striping it on, I might end up putting too much. So this, I feel like I have a more controlled way of applying. So I'm just gonna put some on this Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia BOM85 brush, and I'm gonna stipple that onto the cheeks. That's a pretty color. It's a nice neutral rose color, and our eyes today are gonna be pretty neutral as well. So I felt like the two would really go well together. It is definitely luminous. So see, if you use a matte foundation, for the longevity, because typically matte foundations are going to last longer on the skin, but you want to put some more luminosity into it naturally, picking a blush like this is a good way to go. Now, I remember when I first tested out some Merit products, I used one of these in a different color and I wasn't the biggest fan. I like this color much better. The first one was like a, a neutral shade that I just felt like didn't really show up, but this is showing up. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring and Mattifying Face Powder, which has been one of my favorites for years, and a BK Beauty 104 brush. And I'm going to kind of target my powdering. Definitely my forehead, because I'm not someone who loves a shiny forehead. And I'm just gonna go down the T-zone. See how it took a little bit of shine out of that blush, which I'm okay with. Um, I don't necessarily want to be this shiny, but it still peeks through some. I mean, honestly, I'm going to use a highlight, but do I even need one? Maybe I won't use a highlight. All right, let's put a little bit of bronzer, and I'm going to be using the Beauty Pie Awesome Bronze. I've been using this a lot lately, lately because I love this. This is in the shade Goldilux. This is the second shade. They do have four shades. This has hyaluronic acid, squalane, ceramides, so it is definitely not a heavy matte powder. I feel like the powders that have hydrating ingredients infused in them like this really sit well on the skin, but it's also not super luminous. And another good thing about this is that this is a refillable compact. So it's a nice gold compact. You can buy the initial compact and bronzer for 25 and then the refills are only 15. And this is, goodness, a very old BH Cosmetics brush that I have been loving lately for bronzer. So I'm just kind of stamping that in. Again, it looks so good on the skin. To me, this is very, very friendly when it comes to the amount of product that lays down when you apply it. It's very buildable, which I appreciate. When it's too much at first, I can tend to go overboard. But at this one, I just feel like lays down everything that I want and nothing more. A lightly buff with my hourglass powder, really just underneath the bronzer to make sure there are no harsh lines. I'm not gonna get too far up on the cheek because it is still a cream product. I don't want it to move around too much. I am not gonna do a highlighter. I have one out, but I really just don't feel like I need one. I'm liking the way the skin is looking. Maybe I'll change my mind at the end, but right now let's go move to the eyes. Simple, simple, simple eye look. This is the biggest part of transitioning into fall other than you know incorporating more cream products because 
my eyelids have been getting dry, y'all. It's, I don't know what's going on, but it's cream products. It's easy. It is fast and it's a little bit of a smokier look, but you'll see it's what I like to call natural smoky because smoky, y'all smoky is very subjective. My smoky could be something completely different from yours. So I'm gonna be using all of the Beauty Pie Wonder Sticks. I love these things. I have multiple colors. I, I would love to have all of them. I'm using three of them today. It is a roll on glide on stick eyeshadow that is budge proof crease proof, and we'll be there all day long. So I'm gonna start out with the on taupe color, and I'm literally just going to color this into my crease, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the Beauty Pie Pro Eyeshadow Blending, but any aesthetic, little bit denser brush is gonna work. I like this because of how dense it is. And I do feel like synthetic blends out creams better than natural. So I'm just gonna take that, kind of lay it on its side and easily blend that shadow out. And because we're going for smoky, there is nothing that says it needs to be precise or perfect. I want it to be a little smudged and it just gives this beautiful color on the eyes that is truly not gonna go anywhere. So if you have oily eyelids, I would definitely look into these even though they are creams because they are so budge proof. If you have dry eyelids, I would look into these because they're creams and they, you know, once blended out, just look great on the eyes. And then I'm gonna take this one, which I love if you like a more champagne-y type of color. This is called Little Star and it's more of like a gold champagne. See how pretty that reflection is? So I'm gonna take that in the inner portion of my eye so I'm gonna start like I'm putting an inner corner shadow on, and then I'm gonna put it to probably about three quarters of the way out. And I'll just take my finger and do a little smudging. And then the third shade that I'm gonna use is called Huntress, and this is a gorgeous golden bronze shade. How pretty that is. And I'm just gonna take that on the outer corner, match it up, to Little Star, and that's gonna give a little bit more of a smokier effect. But I mean, I'm literally using my fingers to blend this. And then I'm gonna take that same Hunter shade, and I'm gonna go underneath the eye. Doesn't need a ton of blending, but I'm gonna take that same brush that we used for the crease shade, and just lightly blend that out so there's no harsh edges. And that might be the quickest, easiest, fall smoky eye I think I've ever done. I'm gonna do my mascara off camera and I'll be right back. So I did my mascara and I used my beloved Chanel. I will have everything listed down below. And I did this uh, little lip combo the other day and really liked it. So I'm gonna use the Merit lipstick in Millennial, which is a really pretty pink. And I just kind of like tap it onto the lips. These are great lipsticks, great lipsticks some of my favorites. But you know I can't go without putting a gloss on top, so I'm using my Chantecai Gloss in Charm, which you can see I have used quite a bit of because it's one of those colors that just goes on top of everything perfectly. Love it, love it. Now, if you wanted, as a final step, to brighten up the eyes a little bit, I love them how they are, but I had my, you know, highlight out thinking I was going to use it, but it, Again, I just didn't need to, but I'm gonna take a little bit. This is the, I don't know if it's called Becca anymore, but the Champagne Pop Highlighter. I think you can get it under Smashbox now. And I'm just gonna take it right on like the inner quarter of my eyelid and then just blend it in. See how that just opens it up just a little bit more and makes it pop. But again, this is not something that you have to do. I actually really liked how they looked beforehand just giving options. That's it, that is my transition into fall, super easy makeup look. Hopefully you enjoyed. And again, I will have everything listed down below. Be sure to check out Beauty Pie if you have not, and my code that gets you $10 off your first order. And if you are a Beauty Pie lover, please share with everybody else what your favorites are as well. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.